Hi everyone, today's video is going to be about how to create and save a 2D map. Um, I already have the instructions on the website. If you go to the website, um, as you see, I have tutorial 2 right now. Um, I'm recording the video here um, and it will be on the website uh, soon. But you can uh, follow the instructions. Uh, I already have the instructions on the map. I already created one sample map. Uh, so you will be doing the same thing uh, for this project uh, you need to create a better map this map some errors as you see um, the top part of uh, the map is a little bit tilted and there are some also um, errors uh, at the walls and also boundaries uh, so let's start uh, with um, step one step one is um, actually following all the uh, steps in step um, tutorial one because uh, tutorial one is about um, bring uh, bringing up the turtle bot uh, so first um, you need to turn on the robot of course and uh, turn on um, the jewel I already did uh, I'll be using turtle bot 1 and um, uh, workstation 1 in this uh, example so let's go and SSH into the robot SSH turtle bot at TV2I1 local right. it's ssh password is robot1 so let's go into turtlebot we are already in turtlebot so I'll go back to turtlebot again and say go ros and ros core ros first step is done let's open another terminal SSH into the robot again see if there is a shortcut here yes robot1 alright go ROS and I will be using this launch file um, so if you want to start a new map you have to uh, use this launch file it's going to start all the uh, necessary nodes for um, creating a map. All right, the robot is ready. Let's go back to our workstation and um, open a new terminal. Now we are going to ru uh, run Arvis. go back to our um, configuration file it's on our desktop for this tutorial I turned off all the unnecessary uh, uh, virtualization tools here for example we don't need uh, the point cloud or uh, the second camera so we need uh, one of these cameras let me change this so we need this camera uh, because we want to see where the robot goes. Uh, we don't need the other cam uh, that uh, looks at the floor. Um, and also um, we don't need uh, some of the other features here. So I turned it off. This is going to improve the performance. As long as it's around like 25, 31 uh, frame, uh, frames per second, uh, you are good. Alright, so let's go back to uh, the instructions. Right. And um, step tutorial 2, step 2, we are done with step 1, and now we are in step 2. Um, you can use uh, the RVS navigation uh, tool. Yeah, there is. there are two ways to control the robot. There are actually many uh, ways to control the robot. For example, you can just use this button, which is to the navigation goal, and tell um, the robot where to go. As you see, the robot started uh, turning around, trying to find its way to um, the goal position that I sent. Let's tell robot go to this direction.
as you see, uh, every single time clicking on this button and uh, telling robot where to go is not that efficient. So uh, there's another way to do it. You can use a PS3 controller, um, but still you have to walk on the robot. Um, um, and uh, there's another way you can use the keyboard, which is what we are going to do. So uh, I'll be using this package called a TurtleBot Teleop. If you go to this link, you can uh, see um, uh, more details about this uh, package. Uh, but to run the launch file, to use this uh, package, you have to um, open another terminal and run it. Oh. We don't need run here. Alright. So, it already started. It gives you some instructions. For example, uh, if you want to go forward, you need to press on I. If you want to go back, you need to... Uh, press on comma or if you want to uh, turn left uh, J turn right L there are some other directions um, one uh, important thing you need to know about this um, um, this a program you have to always uh, be in this terminal for example if you click here and if you press on buttons now I am pressing on uh, the keyboard buttons as you see robot doesn't move but if I go back to the terminal if I click on it then the robot is and if I like uh, start pressing on uh, the buttons on the keyboard the robot is going to start moving around so you can um, um, do teleoperation with the robot which is going to uh, make things easier for you uh, when you create your um, map Alright, let's say um, we are done we are creating the map. Now it's time to uh, save the map. You don't close anything. Everything needs to be uh, up and running. And to save the map, you should run this. Paste. My map. Um, let's name it something else. My map. Um, my map Y. Alright. Okay, if you, we go to uh, this um, uh, directory, temporary files, and also map one, we will see uh, the picture of the map. Let's go back again. And as you see, our file is here. So let's go to um, the te temporary file directory and file system. And yeah. So as you see, the map that we created, it's also on Arvis is here so you need to do the same thing about the i um, expect you to uh, create uh, the entire uh, map of the lab uh, so this is your first assignment and this is uh, the end of uh, tutorial 2 i hope this was helpful um, let me know if you have questions um, and good luck creating the map